Montalvo Broadcasting Network. Support MBN Montalvo Broadcasting Network and shop with us over at Montalvo Store. Go to ebay.com and search in the advanced search. Type in Montalvo Store. Now support Montalvo Broadcasting Network. We have a wide array of books on conspiracy, apparel, and much more. Support your favorite radio station, Montalvo Broadcasting Network, by visiting Montalvo Store on ebay.com. With us are in news, I'm Patrick Foss. Former Auburn University football coach Tommy Tupperville has defeated Jeff Sessions to win the Republican Senate primary in Alabama. Sessions gave a graceful concession speech. I want to congratulate Tommy Tupperville. He ran a really firm, solid race. He was focused on his goal and on winning. He had a plan to do so, and he was able to do so. He is our Republican nominee. We must stand behind him in November. Tupperville, endorsed by President Trump, is now positioned to put up a strong challenge against Democratic Senator Doug Jones. Also at SRNews.com, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is hospitalized. The high court says that the 87-year-old Ginsburg was admitted in D.C. for a fever and chill Monday evening. President Trump says he hopes Ginsburg gets better. Speaking at a White House news conference on Tuesday evening, the president said he hadn't heard Ginsburg was in the hospital, but he quickly wished her well and even complimented the liberal Supreme Court justice. She's actually giving me uh, some good rulings, okay? So you know that, right? People were surprised. Now, I wish you the absolute best. A statement from the Supreme Court says the 87-year-old Ginsburg will stay in the hospital for a few days. White House correspondent Greg Cluxton. House appropriators take up defense spending on Capitol Hill, including how to pay for border wall. Maryland Republican Andy Harris introduces an amendment to loosen restrictions on border security currently in the defense budget. Let's go on to Section 8136. 8136 says you can't use the National Guard on the border. It doesn't say for immigration purposes. It just says you can't use them. Defense Subcommittee Chairman Peter Visklosky disagrees with Harris's interpretation. What we say in the bill is you have to reimburse the Guard if they are deployed. Mr. Harris's amendment was defeated. Bernie Bennett in Washington. This is SRA News. A leading evangelical calls for a name change. Liberty University is located in Lynchburg, Virginia, and school president Jerry Falwell says it's time for the city to pick another name. In fact, Lynchburg is named for its founder, John Lynch. But Falwell says a lot of people believe it has something to do with the practice of lynching, and that's a problem. Falwell adds, quote, I personally support changing the name of the city of Lynchburg. It's been an embarrassment to Liberty University ever since we started. Michael Harrington, SRN News. The Stanton Public Policy Center is calling on the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C., to remove a bust of Planned Parenthood founder Margaret Sanger. The center calls Sanger a racist, pointing to her support of eugenics and the fact that she addressed a Ku Klux Klan meeting in 1926. Republican Congressman Russ Fulcher has joined the campaign, sending a letter to the Smithsonian. This is SRA News. An editor and writer for the New York Times opinion section has publicly resigned, saying she was embarrassed and bullied for ideas that didn't conform with a left-wing point of view. Barry Weiss quit her job Tuesday while alleging that woke culture is crowding out dissenting points of view. She said she was openly smeared and demeaned by colleagues who didn't fear their behavior would be checked. She said lessons about the importance of understanding other Americans, the necessity of resisting tribalism, and the centrality of the free exchange of ideas to a democratic society have not been learned. Keith Peters reporting. President Trump signed legislation in an executive order Tuesday that he said will hold China accountable for its oppressive actions against the people of Hong Kong. The legislation and order are part of the Trump administration's stepped-up offensive against China for what he calls the rising Asian superpower's exploitation of America and its effort to conceal details about the coronavirus. More details at SRNews.com. I'm Patrick Foss. The radical left-wing mob's agenda? Take over our cities, defund the police, pressure more towns to follow, and Joe Biden stands with them. Cutting police funding. Yes, absolutely. Eliminating cash bail, letting criminals back on the street. 
violent crime exploding, innocent children fatally shot. Who will be there to answer the call when your children aren't safe? I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. You have reached the 911 police emergency line. Due to defunding of the police department, we're sorry, but no one is here to take your call. If you're calling to report a rape, please press 1. To report a murder, press 2. To report a home invasion, press 3. For all other crimes, leave your name and number, and someone will get back to you. Our estimated wait time is currently 5 days. Goodbye. For the likelihood that there will be 100,000 Americans who die from this virus. For the likelihood that there will be 100,000 Americans who die from this virus. Welcome to the Bruce Montalvo Show, August 8th, lockdown, round two, marathon continues. You could listen to the show on Spreaker.com, that's Spreaker.com slash the Bruce Montalvo Show, and chime in on the chat room. I'm in there, I see a couple of people are in there right now, shout outs to all of you. You know what I'm wondering, I'm wondering why, like on the last podcast, we covered all the protesters that are out there. How come none of them have died from from the COVID yet? None of them. They're all they're all still alive. They're out there. They're smiling now, but they're probably gonna die from the COVID later. So, I mean, this whole coronavirus is just one big stinky fart that won't go away. Like that one Democrat that swallows well. Yeah, it just won't go away. It's the fart that won't go away. It's the so the never-ending story. It's the never-ending fart that won't go away. And what if the Democrats did this to uh, attack Trump because maybe Trump tested positive for a flu and then they they did it as some type of psychological operation, which is what it is. This is a Democrat freaking conspiracy. Okay, they came up with it. And it'll probably go away after November 4th when Trump is selected once again. And here you see Trump can't do anything without all sorts of people wearing a mask around him like he's the disease, right? Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton goes to Russia. She can't shut up about Russian collusion, but every picture I see her, she's participating in Russian collusion, kissing the, the whispering, kissing Putin, all sorts of stuff. And all this uh, hubbubaloo about the military coming in to uh, distribute the coronavirus vaccine when it's ready, it's all bullshit. I mean, did you forget that Trump is an anti-vaxxer? Okay. Anybody pushing this, even sharing it on their Facebook, anybody that shares anything from CBS, like it's real news, I mean, you know right off the bat it's fake news. Trump is an anti-vaxxer. He wouldn't do that. Okay. 
He wouldn't do that. And I tell you who's um, who was smiling a couple of weeks ago and died of COVID just recently is uh, Herman Cain. You remember he had the Godfather's Pizza? I wonder if he flew on Epstein's plane also. So uh, Herman Cain, former presidential candidate, dead at 74 from the COVID probably. So uh, I don't see any uh, Black Lives Matter doing big old parades or a big old funeral for, for good old Herman Cain, right? Because he's a black conservative. That doesn't fly. But uh, another news, you have uh, Trump planning to uh, ban TikTok because, like I just said earlier, Epstein plane, all that. There's a lot of perverted pedophiles on on Twitch or on TikTok. That's how they uh, get to talk to little kids. Maybe they run a little video game channel. Ooh, hey, oh my god, I'm playing, I'm playing Super Mario. Oh my god. Do you want to join me? Do you want some candy? Do you want to jump in the back of my van? So, yeah, Trump knows all about that and, uh, you know, what is it, TikTok and Twitch and all these. First of all, TikTok's working for uh, the Chinese to gather your information and Twitch is probably doing the same thing, plus a bunch of pedophiles are on there. So, you know, that's the government's job to go after the pedophiles. But uh, they make you think like the coronavirus is under control, right? Meanwhile, you can't have fun. There's like, it's not essential to go out and entertain yourself. It's like you're in a big prison environment, you know what I'm saying? And and uh, Bill Gates is technically the president right now. But uh, they're going to be mandating vaccines. I mean, that's not coming from Trump. That's coming straight from the U.N., and what are they racing so they could uh, nationalize the 5G? So they'll bring in the martial law, they'll put up the 5G everywhere, and that's where the real virus is going to come from, right? See, now that I said that, I'm probably going to get banned like uh, David, David Ick, right? Because I, like David Ick, is telling you about how the human race is living in a matrix, Okay, and what what happened to all you patriots? Did your balls get cut off? I mean, first it was don't tread on me, right? With the big Ouroboros snake, right? The snake from the infinity of hell on the mat on the on the flag, and now the snake has a mask and is saying don't sneeze on me. So your balls technically were cut off by the Illuminati who planned COVID the whole time. Meanwhile, I don't know what Trump's smoking. He maybe he's smoking with Cheech or Chong or one of them, but he just signed the Great Outdoors Act. You know what that means, right? He didn't really sign it. He's like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Simpsons movies. Just, I will sign number three. I picked three. I was not elected to read. I was elected to lead. Hey, this Great Outdoors Act, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like, well, first of all, it sounds like that Cheech and Chong movie where he's like, Oh, great outdoors, man. You know, it sounds like that, but it isn't. There ain't no great outdoors for you. It's great outdoors for the DARPA cheetah robotic dog that if they catch you on on the U.S.'s great outdoors, they're going to kill you because you're a virus and you need to wear a mask. And if you're denying COVID-19, they're going to throw you in a jail cell for denying it and not wearing a mask. So that's in a very near future. And, uh... You know, the COVID isn't killing people. Right? right now, people are smiling. They're going to die from the COVID later. But you need to forget about it. Now forget about the COVID. You know what's killing people? I'll tell you what's killing people. Masks. Okay, the mask right now, if you're some old man, you suddenly got sick as a dog and you were fine before, but you were wearing the mask. Well, there's your problem. Okay, you're not meant to have your breathing obstructed. Okay, but if someone comes up to me and asks me, how, how come... How come uh, you're not wearing the mask? Well, I say, well, first of all, I don't believe in hoaxes. And second of all, I like breathing air. Okay? I don't like my breathing to be obstructed. Okay? I love air. And it's like we're living in Hades, in the pit of Hades right now. And all the demons are coming out and making us wear damn masks and turning you into uh, COVID idiots is what you all are. Uh, they want to say that I'm not wearing the mask. I'm the COVID idiot because I'm not wearing a mask. No, I like to breathe. I like air. Unlike the Black Lives Marxists that they can't breathe, I, I could because I'm not wearing the mask. In other news, uh, sharks 
are uh, brutally attacking people on beaches right now in Maine. Maine shark attack. U.S. woman killed by Great White. Yeah, it was probably some mechanical DARPA government shark. Because they don't want you having any fun. Fun is now forbidden for all of 2020. And they just, they're putting out sharks. Metal robotic sharks from Universal Studios. You know, everybody loved Jaws when he came out. Now they're putting out all sorts of megalodons. You name it, they're going to come out there. Megalodon Donald Trump robotic sharks. Great white sharks swim around us in Southern California beaches. Yeah, so remain quarantined because I can't tell you how many times I went to a Southern California beach and I never saw a fucking shark. But now, when you're supposed to be quarantined in, a, in our prison in our prison world, we have to worry about sharks? Well, the street sharks, right? Remember that cartoon, the street sharks? You have to worry about the, the street sharks. Anyway, uh, this is just like right out of Dr. Strangelove with, with Fauci playing the lead role of uh, Dr. Strangelove. Okay. Oh my God, Fauci's not the villain. He totally is. He totally is a fucking villain. He's a douchebag. Him and Bill Gates. Okay, they're literally destroying the country. The country was doing pretty well economically under Trump, and then they, I mean, he turned it around, and then they just butt fucked the country with this coronavirus. Okay, the inflation is rising. Will there be deflation or inflation in the post-coronavirus world? Will coronavirus cause deflation or inflation? The coronavirus might cause inflation. You can't even go buy a a freaking Lunchables for your kid right now because it's like $29.95. Right? Coronavirus inflation. Coronavirus legacy will be that it weakened... uh, worldwide market and created worldwide inflation that's why i see happening meanwhile you know they're into the mass shaming and they got you know all their celebrity retards you know slipknot was wearing masks already like the predictive programming way back when now the slipknot singer is saying that you're a pussy if you don't wear a mask Corey Taylor says, stop whining and put on your goddamn mask oh yeah because i like to take advice from satanic retards Right? No. No thank you, Corey Taylor. That's why you look like shit. Because you're doing heroin and you have a fucking mask on. Meanwhile, all across America right now, fat, white trash moms and everybody you know, that, that's dumb. Well, you know, not not just dumb white trash moms. There's uh, dumb people in all shades of color that believe this stupid hoax. But mainly right here in the, in the clip, I'm seeing a, a big, fat, white trash mama grabbing her little hoodlum and sticking a freaking swab right in his nose, and that's child abuse. You're abusing your child. Uh, You grab your child, you put a mask on him, that's child abuse. You're abusing your child. You're no different than Epstein. You're a piece of shit, okay? More than 338,000 U.S. children have tested positive for coronavirus. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, really? Really? How come nobody's falling and dying from this shit yet, like right in front of you? Coronavirus cases and kids rise. Right. And this is like nine hours after Trump said with his intelligence, because, you know, the government is in the business of intelligence. They got the Defense Intelligence Agency. They got the Federal Bureau of Investigation slash intelligence. They got the Central Intelligence. So I don't give a fuck what some quack scientist says, because last time I checked, you could also be a mad scientist. Now, science isn't a great word. It means dividing knowledge. So scientists are evil, okay? So Trump is in the business of intelligence. You figure he'd have the best intelligence. Nine nine hours ago, before these children having mass coronavirus spike news hit, he was saying the children were the least affected by it. And of course, the communist Marxist media had to attack Donald Trump and call him a liar. Twitter and Facebook removed Trump post over false claim of children and COVID-19. This is like the Twilight Zone episode that never ends. Facebook removes Trump post falsely claiming children are almost immune. You see, they just have to contradict and go against anything. This man says like they know better. Like, like they're trillionaire billionaires like him with, with all the best intelligence at, at his disposal, at his, at his whims, 
Like they know better? I'm supposed to listen to some quack? Anyway, the next conspiracy you're hearing here is uh, there's a giant coin shortage in the U.S. right now. Why? Well, because they want to get you towards the cashless society. And those coins are just so dirty, aren't they? Right? So uh, there's a coin conspiracy going on right now. The COVID-19 shortage of pennies, nickels, and dimes and quarters is led by the Federal Reserve, who's rationing coins in June. Oh, yeah, so they just happen to be... uh, just taking money off the, the circuit, right? And they're like, no, no, no. Try to push them towards the cashless society. I see what you're doing. I see exactly what you draconian, Malthusian mad scientists are doing to the country. Everything you need to know about the national coin shortage, I just told you. It's a bunch of, of bullshit. There are plenty of coins everywhere. Okay? Especially in in my bank, right? Uh, tight on quarters, business banks scramble as pandemic causes coin shortage. So uh, now you can't go play your Pac-Man video games because A, you're not allowed to have fun. B, you're not allowed to go to arcade. And C, there's a fucking coin shortage. So uh, what's going on here? We have, uh, you know, who would have known? Who would have known that the big ticket items to invest in would have been Hand sanitizer and masks, right? People are making a killing, right? No, they're not. Because Amazon is making a killing. Because if you try to sell hand sanitizer and masks on uh, their platforms, well, you're banned from that, okay? Amazon restricts sales of face masks and hand sanitizer. Uh, Hand sanitizer prices are through the roof. Back to school 2020, the new items your kid needs. uh, Hazmat suit. Uh, what else? A hand, uh, no more books. Just a, a bunch of hand sanitizer, uh, and and masks. I tell you, if if anybody had a bunch of hand sanitizer, I mean, you'd think they they were like jerking off or something. Right? What else do you need that stuff for? Huh? Price gouging amongst complaints of the surge of uh. Coronavirus, pandemic, hand sanitizer, masks, big ticket items of 2020. This just proves, you know, I thought we were going to be in like a futuristic world. We're in the stupidest, most retarded world ever. I mean, we're literally living in hell. Okay, we're living in a simulation. It's hell. And then when you die, Satan's going to be like, hey, how'd you enjoy hell? I mean, like, I fucking knew it, man. I fucking knew that that was hell. Okay. It is, because, I mean, the, the mark of the beast is right here, but it's not the mark of the beast, it's the temperature check of the beast. Now, you have a government official sticking some uh, nanochip technology in the back of your brain, and then just scanning you with the temperature check of the beast. So, coronavirus introduced the temperature check of the beast. That's what I'm calling it. Everywhere they go... They're getting this done. This is the temperature check of the beast. And it's not the mark, it's the mask. The mask of the beast. And people are so stupid. They're wearing the, the same dirty-ass mask over and over again. Oh, it's it's helping stop the spread. No, no, no. What it's, what it's doing, it's helping kill you. Because they deemed you to be a parasite. Okay? They... They are just wearing the same mask they've been wearing since, like, February. And you, you really think it's protecting you? Oh, but the doctors wear a mask for, for hours on end during their surgeries. Yeah. Yeah, they're not wearing a frilly little gay mask they made out of boys' underwear like you. Okay? They're wearing a fucking hazmat suit because supposedly there's a bioweapon that came from a... Level 4 freaking government lab that was funded by Obama and had Fauci there in Wuhan. Okay, so they've been working on this before. Why do you think they keep predicting it? Oh, they're so accurate in predicting it. Are you that stupid? They're doing it. They did it. This is a big freaking hoax. Okay, Uh, you're you're smiling now, but you're going to die from the COVID later? I don't know anybody that's fucking died. The news is trying to have like... Stories sent to them. Oh, tell us your COVID story so far. Yeah, uh, that's how you do your journalism. It's pathetic. Well, you just gonna say that 
that I I had COVID and then I recovered from it, but you're not going to report that I recovered from it. You're just going to keep saying that I, I, I died from it. Is that it? I had it and I died from it. You, 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 you bastards that believe this, you win the award for the stupidest, most gullible people ever in any time period of history. Oh, but... But but Bruce, now you can wear a clear face mask that would that will display your winning smile. Can you believe that? They have face masks where you could people could see your smile. Nobody wants to see your freaking gingivitis. It's like I'm saying, you smile now and you're gonna die from it later. And now they're selling clear face masks that display your winning smile. You really believe these people in the coronavirus? It's just another way for these these evil politicians that come from the deepest depths of Hades to steal from you. Anytime it's got anything to do with with hunger or food or the housing of the homeless or health or the environment or education or the children or the families or, or racism, that's a clear giveaway that they're a corrupt bastard. Anytime there's an ism on it, you, you know that they... They want to have their hands in your pockets. Okay, welfare, etc. You know that those politicians are planning to rob you blind. They're going to rob your house. They're going to steal your car. Okay? That's what they're doing. Meanwhile, the world is obsessed with baked beans right now. I don't know what the hell it is. Just more proof that you're living in a completely retarded simulation. Okay. Oh, I got beans, baked beans. I have buyer's remorse because I bought so many beans. All right, because you bought into the whole uh, we were going to get nuke thing. No, that happened in Lebanon. 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 Whatever. La, 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 la. Lebanon. Uh, buyer's remorse over the beans. Yeah, the, maybe they nuked them with a giant can of baked beans. They probably nuked Lebanon with a giant can of baked beans, but I'm going to cover that in the next episode coming up. So, you know, I don't want to hear anything out of Fauci's mouth unless it's some fucking fake Shakespeare shit. All right? To mask or not to mask? That is the question. Huh? No, I'm not going to mask. Because the other day I walked into a, a barber shop to get my hair cut. And at first, they, none, none of them had masks. But then, out of nowhere, this this uh, this broad that's about to cut my hair puts a mask on my face. So I said, I don't think so. I grabbed the mask, I threw it at her face, and I walked out of the barber shop because like I'm probably one of the first guys in Arizona to throw a mask at 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 somebody. You're not gonna physically put a mask on. I said, I'm not paying you because I mean they hadn't even cut my hair yet, but. They they put the mask on me. I, I I stood up. I mean, they could have cut one of my ears off. I stood up. I grabbed the mask. I threw it at him. I said, who the hell do you think you are? All right? Screw you, you freaking gullible sons of bitches. Okay? Because, no, I will not mask. And I'm going to be smiling now. And I'm not going to be dying later. Okay? Because, I mean, it's such horse shit. All those black protesters should be dead right now. Right? All of them. They, sh- they should all be dead from the COVID, but they're still alive. Proof that this is a hoax. You're listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show Lockdown Round 2 Marathon. Yes, this round two is lasting forever, right? It's going to last until 2028, okay? They're just going to keep saying two more weeks, two more weeks, two more weeks, okay? Until you're a fucking skeleton, you're still going to be thinking there's two more weeks of this shit left. You're listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show Call in to leave a message. Uh, leave a message that I will answer on live talk radio. 480-382-8451. That's 480-382-8451. You're listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show. Hey, Support MBN, Montalvo Broadcasting Network, and shop with us over at Montalvo Store. 
Go to ebay.com and search in the advanced search. Type in Montalvo Store. Now support Montalvo Broadcasting Network. We have a wide array of books on conspiracy, apparel, and much more. Support your favorite radio station, Montalvo Broadcasting Network, by visiting Montalvo Store on ebay.com.